Deuce Vaughn, double deuce at Kansas State, 42 with the Dallas Cowboys. For a sixth round pick, he was probably the one player that got this fan base the most excited for 2023. The father and son story that swept media outlets across the country. Deuce Vaughn's dad is a Cowboy scout, and it was a feel good moment for the Vaughn family and Cowboys nation. But fans are also hyped up about what he could possibly accomplish with the Dallas Cowboys. Deuce Vaughn was electric at Kansas State and one of the most productive running backs in college football last season. Today, we're going to look at Deuce Vaughn and what he brings to this Cowboys team in 2023. Let's get into it. <laughs> Twenty twenty one would be the first year that Deuce Vaughn burst onto the scene at Kansas State, playing in thirteen games, rushing for over fourteen hundred yards, and racking up eighteen rushing touchdowns in twenty twenty one. The following year, he would run for over fifteen hundred, recording another nine touchdowns and catching forty two passes for three hundred and seventy eight yards. In total, at Kansas State, Deuce had four thousand eight hundred and eighty four yards from scrimmage, with forty three total touchdowns. That level of production over two years is insane. And to be honest, if he was over six foot tall, he would have been a top 100 pick in this year's draft. But we all know that college production doesn't always translate to NFL success. So let's talk about Deuce Vaughn and where he fits with this Cowboys offense. Mike McCarthy had a very interesting quote about Deuce when he was asked about him earlier in the offseason. Mike said, there are some very distinct concepts that I have in mind for him. He's a dynamic player. And that's what we need to look at first. Kellen Moore was relieved of his offensive coordinator and play calling duties this offseason. After he was let go and agreed to a contract with the Chargers, reports came out that pretty much told us that Mike and Kellen didn't see eye to eye philosophically. Pretty much meaning that they didn't get along. And this is completely speculative on my part, but I don't think the two were really fond of each other by the end of last season and there was a little bit of animosity. To get back to Deuce Vaughn, with Mike McCarthy calling the plays, it's hard to put a finger on what he means by distinct concepts for the rookie. Hopefully that doesn't imply that he's just a gadget guy that they plan on playing super sparingly, resulting in one or less touches per game on average, similar to what we saw from Kevontae Turpin last season. If this offense was being run by Kellen Moore, I would tell you to expect him to be a gadget guy. Because we've talked about it before on this channel, but Kellen Moore just seemed like once he had a thought about a player, that's exactly what it was. You hope that Mike can find him a role that plays to his strengths at the pro level. One of those strengths being a pass catcher. In reality, I don't see him being the second leading player on this team in carries. I think other guys like Ronald Jones and Malik Davis have a better chance at being your number two options this upcoming season. The common player that we see linked to Deuce is Darren Sproles, who stood at 5'6", 190 pounds, and had one hell of an NFL career. Sproles would play 183 games over 14 seasons for multiple teams, becoming a two-time Pro Bowler and one-time second team All-Pro. He was selected in the fourth round of the 2005 NFL Draft and played his last season in 2019, which is just insane to think about, especially for a running back. But when you look at Sproles' career stats, the rushing numbers do not pop off the screen. Every year but one, he rushed for less than 500 yards. But where he made an impact was in the passing game notching over 700 yards from scrimmage eight times throughout his career. And when we look and compare to Deuce Vaughn, we can't say that he'll ever be as productive as Darren Sproles. That would be downright criminal to say for a guy that hasn't ever played an NFL snap. But what I will say is that with a good plan for him, I think that Vaughn could serve as a potential rushing and receiving threat, skewed more as a receiving back than your typical NFL running back. Sproles was never a team number one option, but everywhere he went, he made his presence felt in the passing game, and then was a change of pace back when he did get his opportunities to rush the ball. Based on how this running back room is right now, I think it's a little much to expect Deuce Vaughn to come in and compete for a large number of running snaps this season. I think if you were expecting that, you're going to be a little bit disappointed by what we'll see this year. But I do think Mike is going to try and get him his opportunities, whether that be in the slot, out of the backfield, a 
couple carries on the ground in certain situations, kind of your Lance Dunbar type role, if you guys remember that name. One more thing that I want to discuss in Deuce Vaughn's game that could play a factor into his impact this season is the kick return and punt return ability. I think for me, this is a bit of an afterthought because you have Kevontae Turpin, who was a pro bowler last season. Because in my head, and probably like many of you, I think the Cowboys like Kevontae Turpin. And you combine that with Deuce only having seven returns in his college career, it doesn't seem super likely that he wins that job but you do wonder if he possesses some type of returning ability. Keep an eye out in camp if the Cowboys are trying him there, working him in with Turpin on kickoffs and punts. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again, Turpin is a sneaky cut candidate if the Cowboys can find someone that does his job. That's a real possibility. With all that said, I do have concerns for the player. He was a sixth round pick, so it does seem like NFL teams also had their concerns. But I mean, it's a sixth round pick. Most teams don't ever get any type of return on investment in those guys. So any type of meaningful production is a win in my book. Let's start with the obvious concern, his size. The average NFL running back stands at just under six foot, 215 pounds. Vaughn is about half a foot shorter and 35 pounds lighter. Combine that with the workload that he saw at running back in college, it does make you wonder how much gas he has left in the tank on such an undersized frame. At Kansas State, he carried the ball 651 times over three years, 528 of those carries coming in 2021 and 2022 alone. And that is a ton of carries. For example, Ezekiel Elliott only carried the ball 592 times over his three-year career at Ohio State. And it could have no effect on his game at all. It's not like he's going to be a workhorse back anyway, but it is something worth discussing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Off-season content is almost over. Training camp videos will be coming here really soon. I can't wait, but until then, I love you all. Bye. Go. Hustle, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in